Welcome back to the channel and today we are in the instruments of destruction workshop looking at some more insane creations starting with the scorpion 4.0 and uh, the game has apparently got some updates and one of those updates unfortunately doesn't show the creator's name anymore when I spawn things in uh, there's now apparently a player one and player two thing up on the top left over here and also if you look at the buildings here uh, these buildings have slightly different shapes like this is a very very different building a lot more glass on this one yeah so there's the, the island got an update as well but i know people put a lot of work into these things so i'm gonna try to bring up my uh my steam list of things i've subscribed to and that way i can say that this scorpion 4.0 is made by master subliminal all right let's spawn this thing in and see how it functions push buttons and see what happens all right so it looks like it is a walker it's trying <laughs> it is trying to walk it has very ant-like legs. Okay, there we go. This is a very interesting looking scorpion. Okay, turning. Oh, it actually does have a interesting turning. I'm trying to turn to the left right now. Huh, it does have turning programmed into it with the legs, which is kind of interesting how it does that. Uh, T, okay, T opens the claws and it looks like the mandibles. Oh yeah, look at the mouth in there. Oh, that's so cool. R closes the claws, so we can open and close the claws with T and R. G. Oh boy, we got a twisting motion with our claws. All right, Y. Oh, oh, that actually automatically opens and closes the claw. And then we can do that with the other claw too. And then we got arrows, which I'm hoping is gonna be the tail. Oh my goodness. What? It curls itself up? I was not expecting that. Down maybe, all right, there we go. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna have to reset. All right, I'm gonna press down arrow. Oh. Okay, that would be pretty devastating if the building was there. So now it's starting to look like a scorpion. What are the right and left arrows gonna do? Oh, what? What? This is so creepy. This tail thing just, it just feels a little weird. Like, it can like wrap itself up in the weirdest way. This is, this is just uncomfortable. I mean, the scorpion looks uncomfortable too. Arrow down. All right, that did not at all work how I was expecting it to work. All right, now I'm just gonna tap the down arrow and I think I'll be able to do a tail whip here or a sting. There we go. All right, finally some satisfaction. All right, and then let's do the claws as well. There we go, okay. All right, I feel like I've uh, had some satisfaction here. Can I walk forward while I, oh, that's not the forward button. That is the up arrow, which understandably I got a little bit confused. And uh, now I broke my back. Okay, perfect. We are contortion, scorpionist, contortionist, scorpion, contorpion. There we go, contorpion. All right, and now for something completely different. This is Desk Fan, which is a creation made by Astronaut. Desk Fan, this is, uh, this might be my biggest fan. Let's push E and see what happened. Oh! <laughs> can it turn, oh, it's, it can oscillate. Wow, this is my biggest fan. Oh, uh, you can angle it up and down. What a great desk fan. Oh, is there like a sensor? It looks like there must be a sensor that triggers some type of uh, shockwave machine. Because you can see as it slows down, whatever that noise is gets triggered slower. That was awesome. Great, great fan. All right, up next is a bird 2.0. So I think this is some kind of ornithopter. Yes, a cleaner, better looking, more functional ornithopter by Beerman. All right, don't see many ornithopters in this game very often. So let's see what happens. This has two T and R are toggles, but we don't have two T or R. Oh no, there is R. Okay, R is a toggle. R. Uh, I'm dead. It is pilot error because this has reversed uh, inverted pitch from what I'm used to. There we go. Wow. Oh, I'm just noticing the uh, the wing feathers are like bendy and flexible and it's super satisfying to watch. Except for that one. There's like one that flaps a little bit too much of an angle and it goes like... It, it just gets out of sync with the other ones. That's a little bit frustrating to look at, but seeing the, the rest of them flap is kind of fun. 
satisfying. I actually, I don't understand how it's turning right now. I am trying to turn to the right, and it's very slow. But you can see it is working. I'm wondering if the flapping of the wings... Oh, no. Is it this? Ah, oh, wow, that is so subtle. This uh, makes us turn to the right a little bit. Okay, and obviously the tail is what helps us pitch. Can this thing glide? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're gliding. Wow. This is really cool. This thing actually glides pretty well, too. All right, good job on this ornithopter. It flies very well. Okay, up next, we have this monster, which is the SW-20 Big Cannon. This is built by Sioux Fighter. I feel like Sioux Fighter has a lot of variations of these bipedal things. Uh, but this one, I think, is a bit more cannon-based. Let's see what happens. You know what? I just, I had to see it. I went to Sioux Fighter's workshop, and yeah, look at all of these different variations of this kind of thing. They're all so epic. All right, let's see. This is the latest one, Big Cannon. I am in. I love the little <laughs> helicopter on the top. It reminds me of those helicopter caps. Okay, all right. So this one is able to fly like previous versions. Oh, boy. Oh, hold on. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Look, I'm tap dancing. All right, do my arrows control it? Yes, my arrows control the cannon. All right, what's this cannon going to do? Let's see. I don't even know how to do it. T. Oh, I didn't even know I was aiming there. All right, let's... Uh, Aim, there we go. There we go. That is pretty satisfying. That sound? What is G? Oh, apparently we also have guns. Y and H. Oh yeah, that's how we walk. Okay, now we can aim over. We can finish the job. Oh no, we can't. We don't actually have 360 view. Oh, there we go. That's how we turn. Oh! <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm doing right now. I don't know what it is, but it looks funny. It's a buildup of gases, you know? Buildup of gases, you just gotta, gotta, let, gotta let that rip sometimes. All right, and there we go. That's such a satisfying sound. Oh, there goes the roof. Now I am the target. Cool. Okay, up next, super small Armageddon device 2.0. You can't really have a, an instrument of destruction episode without a device that is just supposed to bring upon the end of the world. So this Armageddon device is by Gian Lusso. All right, oh boy, here we go. Uh, so you can drive it. Always good to be able to drive your Armageddon device. Look at that Armageddon. We have we have created Armageddon. Armageddon. All right, we know there's a button. I'm gonna press the button. You guys ready for the button to get pressed? I don't know what's gonna happen. I haven't done this before. In three, two, oh, one. Um. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> now, that right there, that was the definition of delayed annihilation. Actually, just so I happen to be wearing my uh, Delayed Annihilation shirt, which is available in my merch shop, link down below. Okay, up next, we have a dune-like ornithopter. Uh, so two ornithopters in one episode. This one looks really cool. All right, so this is also made by Master Subliminal. All right, apparently we need to press Q to activate the gyroscope. Let's let it settle down first. All right, Q. I hear a little rumbling, so that probably means the gyroscope is active. All right, then up. Oh, 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 okay, you gotta keep it going. Oh boy. All right, this actually works. This actually does work. Oh, this is, um, this is actually really interesting how this works. I just noticed one of the pieces that are being used. I don't know why I keep falling out of the sky sometimes and then getting lift other times. Okay, so when I turn, that happens. Interesting. Okay, so if we're, I'm gonna go down to like way super slow-mo and zoom in here. So these are sliders, and these sliders are actually what's helping us flap, so check it out. Oh boy, I wasn't planning on destruction. This is instrumental destruction after all, but you can see the wings flapping by sliding back and forth like that. And it looks like in this orientation, we gain altitude. If I press forward, I don't really know what changes. Oh, no, they are leaning forward now. You can see the wings are actually like tilting. Oh, okay. And then if I release W, they're probably gonna get more horizontal again. Maybe. I don't know, hard to tell. Maybe I gotta actually press S to return it back to zero. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. 
So this isn't like press the button and release to get it back to zero. You actually press the button to put it to a certain point and then it holds that position, which explains why I was having a lot of trouble. All right, so then if I hold S, you can see now the front wings are tilting backwards. There it is. Okay. Yeah, this is such an interesting mecha uh, mechanism. I like it. Okay, up next is the One Punch Bot. So this is made by Miguel. All right, here we go. So another one of those things that faces wherever I'm facing. I really wish there was just an easy way to just uh, toggle that off so I could pan around and see this creation from all angles. But this is the One Punch Bot and uh, the controls seem pretty simple. So E for right hook, Q for left hook. So let's do a right hook here. Okay, well, there's your one punch. You know what is impressive with this thing? Is, um... Oh, that took two punches. Two punches, to be fair, to, uh, to take that building down. What's impressive with this thing is when I punch the building, my character stays in place. Like, you would expect when you punch the building that it would push you back as well. Oh, that building's rumbling. That was pretty cool. I wonder if the, uh, the building collapse physics has been updated because hearing that rumble before it collapsed was... I, I'm not used to that. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do both punches at the same time. Does it count as one punch if you use two hands in one motion? All right, here we go. Both at the same time. Now it just looks like I'm trying to give the building a hug. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Oh, oh, all right. I mean, I, I would say you, you have a shoulder to lean on here, but this isn't quite what I meant. Get away from me. Get away from me. Just get away. You go over there. Go over there. You're grounded. Go to your room. <laughs> He's like, which room? I have 37 floors of rooms. Okay, up next. Whoa, did you see that? Okay, this is the SCRP heart, which my brain just automatically reads it as scrap heart. So I don't know. I don't know if there's anything to do with scrap or if SCRP is an acronym, but this was made by Gomi Kuzu and there's no description. So let's push buttons and see what happens. Okay, these, these little things sticking out. A little weird to me. It, otherwise, very, very nice spherical shape we got here. Oh. Oh, the noise. The noise is something, isn't it? What do the arrows do? Okay, I don't know what E is gonna do. I'm a little bit scared of what E is gonna do. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wedge myself right in here and press E and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, I had, I didn't really know what to expect, but that wasn't on the list. I really thought it was gonna be, whoa. I really thought it was gonna be just an explosion, but that effect of having the explosion shockwave and then like the implosive attraction was, it, it was epic to see, that was awesome. Oh, I love that effect. It's doing it periodically on its own. I'm not I'm not controlling that. But yeah, we are uh Katamari all of this stuff right now. All right, oh, I got to I got to reset and I just want to see that one more time. I just I love that ex like the explosive shockwave pushing things while it's still trying to pull in. This has a uh, very like astronomical effects. I don't mean astronomical as in like really big. I mean this feels like something you would witness in astronomy. Like these are the forces you're dealing with out there. That is so cool. All right, and then if I turn it off. Oh, I should have done that. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to build up more. We're gonna gather all of this debris. And then when I press the button to toggle it off, it's just all gonna fall away. And it's gonna be awesome. All right, can we get a fast forward of this happening? That'd be pretty cool, I think. All right, there we go. I think we picked up pretty much everything on the map. Uh, so I'm gonna try to, can I get any more? I have my altitude maxed out right now. Oh, there are some things I missed over there, but they're not important. All right, I'm gonna press the toggle now. We're getting some altitude and off. So you know what? After, whoa, the sphere of debris is epic. But after seeing how that thing functions, I think Scrap Heart is extremely accurate. It literally just 
builds a body of scrap around like the heart. So yeah, that was that was actually way more interesting. Like it's like sometimes it looks like it was just gonna be like this ball that's just gonna probably destroy the world, but it did it in a way more interesting way than just exploding the world, you know. So I appreciate when uh, things just have some cool stuff to watch. Not that that's not I don't want that though. Whatever is happening with this, it's like. That's some Marvel villain stuff. Okay, up next. Oh boy. Uh, this is called The Spire. And this is made by Man Made of Toast. And apparently, you suck structures into the sky, which is a unique take on Instruments of Destruction. Let's move this over one of these buildings. Here we go. Oh, you know what I just realized this map is missing now? The dummies. There used to be dummies on this map that would go flying everywhere. And uh, I kind of missed that. Okay, so I'm gonna assume the up arrow is the the control to suck the buildings up into the sky. So I'm gonna press up arrow. That build that that sound is terrifying. All right, it works a lot slower than I was expecting, but oh, it's working. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. That looks so cool. This this is some like Michael Bay movie stuff right here. I would this is this is like some War of the Worlds type thing and aliens come to visit Earth and then you have that epic CGI scene where just all of the buildings start getting sucked up piece by piece into the aliens mothership. Yeah, that is very cinematic. And then we can close the mouth. I kind of don't want to open it again just because I'm afraid of the sound, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, you don't want to hear that sound. Do not want to hear that sound at all. Okay, then up last, we have a crazy concept. This is a B-152 war machine. Uh, but as you can see, uh, this thing has piston engines propelling or powering the props. So I think we need to go into the desert map for this one, though. So this one is made by Beerman as well. An all-purpose plane powered by two four-cylinder engines equipped with downward missiles, front guns, and a turret. I didn't even realize it had a weaponry on it. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to fly this thing. All right, so we've got our pitch, and this pitch is also reversed from what I'm used to. W is to pitch up. I'm used to S pitching up. And roll looks normal. All right, E and Q is our yaw. R is to, oh, whoa, it just takes off immediately. That's amazing. Oh, this thing flies. Oh, I got to get used to the pitch. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, up to go, W to go up. All right, what am I doing? All right, this thing flies actually pretty fast too. Um, Left alt. Oh, that is cool. I actually accidentally almost hit a building. All right, I really gotta try to do that on purpose now. This is looking good. No, 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 turn right. Please turn right. Okay, and then, uh, 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 left alt. No, uh, there we go. I got it. I got, I can't turn my camera. That, whoa. Okay, look at that. A whole line through the whole building. Ah, oh, pitch up, pitch up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have left shift. Whoa, that's a, that's a fast rate of fire. There we go. I got a couple shots there. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. We got the melee attack, of course. And then we have left control. Oh, more guns. Wow, a lot more guns. That's pretty cool. And now we have arrows. Oh, I can aim those gun. I can aim the front gun. Yeah, you see the left shift gun. I can aim that anywhere. So that's the turret. And control is the uh, the wing the wing cannons with the wing machine guns. Yeah, how cool is it to have a piston powered plane like this? I mean, I mean engines. That's kind of how engines work, but you know it's a little bit different in a game like this. Okay, it's not the usual standard build when you're actually building the actual piston power yourself. Okay, it's impressive. Cool plane design as well. So uh, out of all these creations, which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.